the X universe, it's being in a video game and helping create a new character that's gonna exist and kind of the X-Men canon. Like that's like having your cake and eating too. I think it's just that overall wish fulfillment, the excitement to be able to do the things that in regular life we can't do. Like a chop up some bread with, you know, just snick. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> You're doing the voiceover work for whether or not the gamer chooses the X-Men destiny or the Brotherhood destiny. So it's kind of like playing split personality. This city belongs to mutants. But if this is a war, I think I prefer to fight without restraints. I think if I had a choice of any of the, the powers in the game, I'd go with Shadow Matter. It just seems like the most fun to mess around with. It just sounds like something that you're not supposed to play with, but you really want to play with. If I got to pick any X gene to inhabit, I would choose Nightcrawler. He has the power to teleport himself anywhere he wants, save on baggage fees, airplane fares. Who wouldn't want to be able to teleport? Be like, oh, you know, I'm going to go out for a night with my friends, but they, you know, live 45 minutes away. Oh, no sweat. Just come on, grab a hold of me. And you're there. If the three characters were thrown into a ball, who would win? Come on, let's just squash that question right now. I think Adrian wins. I think he'd be the first to cheat. I'm sure Milo said he would beat my butt. Adrian would self-destruct because he's crazy and he hears voices in his head. Um, so that would be no competition. And between Grant and Aimi, I would have to say Aimi would kick ass. Sorry, Milo, there's no explanation needed. She just would. Amy's gonna win. She's gonna beat us both.